Mohsen Hamid is an accomplished author. His new book, How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia, it was released on March 6th. It is a novel disguised kind of as a self-help manual. Did it start out that way? Talk about the process. Where did it begin to where you got to this uh, this this completed product, which is getting rave reviews, is my understanding. Well, you know, it started uh, about six years ago. And uh, the first two or three years, I wanted to write sort of a, a big novel that sprawled different parts of Pakistan and people in different aspects of life, poor, rich, young, old. And I was visiting New York from Pakistan, where I live. And uh, in New York, I bumped into a friend who is now the editor of a literary magazine. And uh, we started joking about how reading novels can be hard going sometimes, literary fiction, and how maybe we do it because it's good for us. And I started saying that, you know, well, uh, it's like self-help and, and, you know, my next novel is going to be a self-help book and haha. <laughs> went back to Pakistan and I started thinking that you know maybe actually writing novels for me is a kind of self-help it's a weird thing to sit by yourself in a room for six years you know writing a book so maybe it's there's some kind of self-help aspect in writing novels and also I thought maybe even reading novels is a kind of self-help and what began as this joke um, became a sort of earnest investigation into what I think novels are you know, it's interesting. Uh, are self-help books popular in Pakistan? Yeah. I ask you this because I have all these That's cousins. I I, yeah. Well, because I have these cousins on Facebook, and they're always printing these daily, you know, these Quotes daily mottos. Yeah, me. but I mean, <laughs> you know, being being a guy who grew up in New Jersey, is that you're I'm fairly, you know, you make fun of it. You're fairly cynical about that stuff. It seems like they they, they bought in. It's it's, it's a serious <laughs> yeah. serious uh, process for them. The world is reading this stuff, and I wanted to play on that, and I wanted to use kind of a, the market vocabulary that those those books use and use some of the premises of those, but also combine it with a much more sort of soulful project, a kind of Sufi riff in a way. I always believe if Ernest Hemingway was Pakistani, he would have written about Murad Bacha. And <laughs> he would have done it better than me, I'm sure. Well, I, I just, is that, that was that just, that's a figment that that was something out of your imagination? Yeah, or yeah. Kind of no, thing? Murad Bacha was just a, you know, one of these things. I, I, I can't think of the, of, of very many characters in my fiction that are based on people. Mm -hmm. um, it's more that I have an idea for a character and then I'm kind of like a method actor. I have to try to pretend <laughs> being that person, imagine them, how might they speak? Because I write, so voice is how I figure out. It's not, I don't have to walk like Mumtaz, but I have to go talk like Mumtaz right, to write right. it. So, um, so I kind of just slip into character until I find a voice that sounds or feels right and then I can write the character. I, I, I try to imagine what they might think and how they might feel, what it feels like to be them. Uh, so, so you spend lots of time like, uh, just observing people? That's what, I mean, basically, my, that's my job. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I write a little bit of the time, but basically my full-time job is watching. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the case of most novelists, is that the full-time job is just looking at the world around you. My name is Mohsen Hamid and you're watching Are You Entertainment?